Hello, my name is Daniel Wargo and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be starting a series of videos on a subject that I am extremely passionate about, and that is the gig economy. Maybe that's a weird thing to be passionate about, but I'm kind of a weird guy. I've been working in the gig economy since I was 18 years old. I've always had a variety of different jobs that helped me piece together something that looked like an income. And as of 2019, I was actually putting all of my thoughts into a book, all of my experiences in the gig economy and offering some tips and tricks. And I was ready to release that book as an ebook in April of 2020. But somewhere in March of 2020, you guessed it, the world went crazy. And for the first time in my career, I was left without work. And so I started to reread my book and suddenly so much of what I had written no longer made sense to me. And it's not like it's going to be that way forever, but April of 2020 felt like the wrong time to release this book. And at least now when I go back and re-edit it, I have to add a chapter called What Do You Do During a Worldwide Pandemic? That's an important chapter that I totally missed the first time. So I'm going back and I'm rewriting the book. But in the meantime, I wanted to take to YouTube and offer some of the advice that I was giving in my book, just a little something to this community on that topic. In these crazy times, many of us are forced to have many different types of jobs. And with the rise of gig economy companies like Uber and Lyft and DoorDash, I think we're gonna see more and more people join in on the gig economy. And if you're someone who creates their income by gigging or just is unsure of how much money you're gonna bring home in a particular month, then I hope that you find some help in these videos. And if you're someone who's kind of curious about the gig economy and not sure if that's gonna be the path for you, which it's not for everyone, then maybe you'll get a little bit of understanding, at least from my perspective as someone who's worked in it for so long. Today on this video, I'm gonna talk about five pros and five cons for working in the gig economy. And they're all from my point of view, of course, they're things that I find super positive and some things that maybe aren't so positive about doing this work or having this kind of lifestyle. And what's kind of interesting is as I was writing my list of pros for this video, I realized that every single thing on my list of positive things that I love about working in the gig economy also were cons. And depending on how you look at things, you can see them in both lights. So what I wanna do is I wanna go through the pros first because I'm a positive person. I like being positive, and so I wanna hear the good news. So we'll give the good news first, and then what we'll do is we'll circle back around, and we'll just look at those same pros from a different perspective, and show what it also looks like when you live in this lifestyle and when you're working in the gig economy. Sound good? Pro number one is you get to create your own schedule. Yes, when you're working in the gig economy, your time is yours. Unless you have a specific gig or something to be at, you are in charge of your schedule. And so if you wanna put in a 15 hour day on Monday and you wanna take Tuesday off, you get to do that. You can take Fridays off and choose to work Sundays. It's your life, it's your business, you get to create the schedule. And so that's an amazing opportunity for you. Pro number two, you are your own boss. There is nobody above you who's yelling at you about what to do, how to do it, when to do it, that doesn't exist. You're also the employee, and so there's no one above you at all. You are the boss and employee, and you are in charge of your own fate. Pro number three, you get to choose which jobs you take and don't take. Let's say there's something that you don't particularly like doing, or there's a client you really don't like working with, you get to choose to refuse those jobs. That's your choice. Sure, you might lose a little money, but you choose to lose that money. It's a little bit more powerful. Pro number four, you can take vacation whenever you want. Like I said earlier, you're the boss. You create your own schedule. And so if you wanna go visit your grandma out in Tucson, or you wanna go with the boys to Vegas, party, then go. It's your business, it's your choice, and you just do what you gotta do. You don't have to request time off. Pro number five, you answer to no one except yourself and the government. Don't forget that. But there's no one else who cares what you do. They don't care 
if you're gonna go and make money. They don't care if you're gonna work on Saturday or work on Tuesday. That's up to you. It's your life, it's your work, it's your business, it's your job to figure that out. No one's going to be begging you to work. That's on you. And the same thing, you get to decide how good of a job you wanna do at how you are working. Like I said, you're the boss and the employee. You get to decide those things. And so that is a lot of power. That can be an incredibly powerful thing to your inner self to know that you are in charge and no one else except the government, you gotta pay taxes, really cares about what you do. All right, so those are the five pros. There's obviously a ton more pros about working in the gig economy, but for the purpose of keeping this video under 30 minutes long, I'm going to just keep with five for today. And we're gonna switch over to the cons. And like I said, they're all connected. And so the first con is you control your own schedule. You will have a lot of free time. And so if you're not someone who is good at keeping yourself motivated, keeping yourself on track, and actually pushing yourself, not just to get what you need done, but to go above and beyond and look for the next thing, then it's gonna be harder and harder for you to survive in something like the gig economy. I know personally, I had a lot of trouble with this in my early 20s, going through and not knowing how to spend my time when to take time off, and how to keep myself motivated and moving. I found more of a direction with it now in my later years. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not old. I've definitely grown into having that freedom, and honestly, I wouldn't give it up for anything. But it can be a con. It can be something that is a little bit more difficult. All right, so con number two is you don't have a boss. There's no one telling you what to do. Some people actually really thrive when they have a boss. That's something that can be helpful. Sure, some bosses are awful, but sometimes just knowing that someone above you is looking after what you're doing can be helpful as well. And then you add the factor of not wanting to get fired and not wanting to lose your health insurance or your income or your benefits, and that might push you to get things done because if you work for a company and you don't do your job, they will just get someone else who can do the job. That's, it's just as simple as that. But when you're working for yourself, like I said, you don't have that boss figure looking out for you and no one really cares if you get the job done or not, which if you're not motivating yourself correctly could lead to some problems in your life, in your business, in your career. All right, so con number three, you get to choose which jobs you take or don't take, which also means that you kind of get to choose whether you want to be lazy or not. And so if you're deciding like, oh, I just don't want to take that because I don't like it and I don't like this and I don't like doing that, sure, you can. You can, but you might pay for it. You might lose clients, you might lose business, and definitely you might lose money. And those can all be extremely negative things if not handled properly. Con number four, you can take vacations whenever you want, right? That's a pro. But the con part of that is when you take vacations, you are also potentially losing out on work. So not only does your vacation cost you money, but you might lose money. And so there's a potential for you to kind of lose double money than you would normally because you're spending and you're not making. Usually you won't have paid time off in the gig economy. That's not something that we really, you know, get to utilize in that part of the economy. So, all right, so the fifth con was based on the pro that you don't answer to anyone but yourself and the government. And that's what I want to talk about here very, very briefly. But when you work as a self-employed person in the gig economy, you can end up paying a lot more money in taxes than you would if you were just working for a company. And what I mean by this is this. If you don't own a business and you're not running all of your finances through your business, then you end up having to pay what's called the self-employment tax, which is a tax on top of your bracket tax placement where you would normally hit in your federal tax bracket, you would end up having to pay almost 15% more than that. And that covers Social Security and Medicare uh, and all of those things that are normally taken out half by you and half by your employer. 
when you are working for a company. And so you can end up having to pay a lot higher in taxes if you are working just as a self-employed person. All right, so that's my video on those pros and cons of the gig economy. If you liked this and you wanna see more stuff like this, please let me know in the comments. I don't mean to just detract anyone from working in the gig economy. As I said at the beginning of this video, I'm super passionate about it. And if it's the life for you, then I think that it can be done and there are a lot of, a lot of, a lot of positives to it. And so I really hope that none of this stuff really takes you down the wrong road, but just really opens your eyes to maybe some things that you don't think about when you're working in the gig economy. And sometimes all you need to do is just flash a light on these things and say, that is an issue for me, or that isn't an issue for me because I'm good at X, Y, Z. And when you flash a light on it, you know the problems and you know that you're able to handle them or not handle them. And then you can make more informed decisions from there. So that's all I'm trying to do is just really shed light on this whole thing and start talking about the gig economy because it's going to be a major part of our future as a society. I really truly believe that. And if you're someone who wants to live a life of your dreams, right? Sometimes working in the gig economy is the way to achieve those goals. So that's my video on this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. I've got new videos coming out every single Tuesday and Saturday. And that's all. Eat a cookie. Like, really. Because this one was, was, was a lot. Thank you.